Toys R Us has gotten infested with a brand new lineup of alien mini-mates. Here's your look at the Diamond Select Alien Resurrection Annalie Call and Resurrection Xenomorph. A crew member of the Betty artificial human Annalie Call is actually a sleeper agent sent to infiltrate the USM Ariga and kill the clone of Ellen Ripley. Aboard the USM Ariga, scientists are using human subjects to create new xenomorphs which they can then use for research purposes. To get this review started, we're going to take the Ultra Measuretron 5000 and we're going to put it to the very, very top of Call's head. Now, this may be a trickier feat because the figures are so small. So, taking it right to the very top of her head, we know, based on the Ultra Measuretron 5000, that Call stands at a very small 2.5 inches in height. Switching that over to centimeters, you're looking at 6.5 centimeters tall. Now let's go ahead and switch that over to inches once again. We're going to measure off to the top of the Xenomorph, right to the top there. There we go. A little bit taller is the Xenomorph from Alien Resurrection. You're looking at 2.9 inches in height in centimeters. That works out to be 7.5 centimeters tall. It's great to actually be going back and doing looks at mini mates again. I really miss the days of having a look at mini mates. Well, hopefully this will be the start new year after all, and a new opportunity to have a look at some really cool mini mates, alien mini mates. For starters, both of them come with clear display stands. I'll go ahead and take the one off of the Xenomorph to show you as well. There we go. Technically, the figures do stand fine without their supplied display stands, but nonetheless, I always like to display them with their clear stands anyways. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of tape, sticky, sticky, sticky tape, right on the underside of one of them, just because of the way it was taped inside the clamshell case. So I'll have to just take a little bit of residue remover and just see if I can take that off. Just, just because it's not so much sticky as it is just visibly noticeable now. Um, these stands, though, are appearing to be identical to one another. And like I said, you just simply attach them to the undersides of their feet, like so. You could really do on either side if you wanted to. Just attach the foot like that. And bingo, bango, you've got yourself a standing mini mate where it's not going to go anywhere. These, however, will be going somewhere, at least for this review. I'm just going to move them over to the side just because I don't need stands in the way of things. And take that off. Put the stand to the side, and we'll have a look at the figures. We'll first have a look at Annalie Call, played in the film by Winona Ryder. A nice little representation of Call. You can see, of course, some of the trademark things featured on Mini Mates, like, for example, the omission of a nose. There's no nose to be found. You can't follow your nose if you can't have one, but still, despite the fact that there is no nose present, you sort of kind of get the same feel that that looks like Call from the movie. She, does, she doesn't have any accessories, sadly, but unfortunately, even though she doesn't have accessories, one thing she does come included with, and requires a little bit of the head being removed first, is she comes with a removable vest. Now, you can display her with or without the vest. Luckily, though, Diamond Select has finished the Mini Mate all the way around, so even if you left it off, if that's the choice that you wanted to make, you still have a fully finished Mini Mate. Typically blocky, typically very... Uh, simplistic and yet oh so satisfying our mini mate bodies generally nine times out of ten they usually come looking like this oh excuse me with of course a head on the top but usually this is the trademark uh, mini mate body it does change ever so slightly of course we will look at xenomorph as being a good example of that as all the extra things that they can put on top of it to increase its size to increase its bulkiness and just to increase Certain characters that, of course, can't fit the bill of a normal Mini Mate body. Back in the day, though, when Mini Mates were first coming out, even characters like the Hulk and characters like the Thing all still used the same body until eventually they start adding on extra things to it. It's got some nice printing there on the front, 
and equally so featured on the back. Uh, you can even see that they've printed the buttons, the collar, even given the waistline there of, uh, of call. I love the coloring. They've even put little laces on her boots. Likely, though, I'm probably going to display her with the vest, just my own personal preference. And simply just a case of sliding over the torso like that, giving her back her head. I mean, Android or not, no, no person is really going to be happy without a head. Technically, the hair is also removable if you wanted to. Kind of looks like the girl then from Star Trek, the motion picture. Feature, feature. Uh, face sculpt is, or face printing. I really want to group, gravitate away from calling it face sculpting because ideally it's the face printing that sells so well for these mini mates. The head sculpts are generally all the same and they just print it to look as close to the actress as possible or actor as possible. And I think they've done a really good job here with Call. Put the hair back in her, in her proper place and we'll have a look at her posability. Now her head does have a ball joint. The arms, which I don't know if you can actually see or not, right there. There we go. Ah, see, that's the improvement of technology. Older reviews, when I had a look at the mini mates, I just sim simply couldn't showcase them as well as I can now. That's advancements for you. There is the ball joint. You can kind of see how the socket attaches onto it like so, causing the arm to have full rotation all the way around. The arms also hinge out. They bend a, just a simple hinge on the elbow, and they also have the rotation in the hands. Normally, this would be a prime opportunity to showcase the accessories that come included, but unfortunately, Call and the Xenomorph don't come with ones. Uh, the lower leg or the lower torso rotates. The legs are also on ball joints. See them? There's one there. There's one right there. They have a hinge at the knee, and they also rotate at the lower part of the boots. They give you just the right amount of posability to it, and I think really for me, why I like Mini Mates so much is that they're small, they're compact. Back in the day when I was, I used to hang out with a buddy of mine that also was big into Mini Mates, you could really pack a whole bunch of those in your pocket and take them with you wherever you wanted to go. Uh, they're small, they're compact, but they're still super posable. Uh, still a feat that many figure lines for this scale seem to, can't seem to do still. Let's move along to the Xenomorph from Alien Resurrection. Slightly a little bit more rusted of a Xenomorph. Uh, gone are the traditional blues, the blacks, and in some cases, even the browns. And here instead, we almost get more of a rusted brown Xenomorph. Features that would be recognizable on a Xenomorph are still here on the Mini Mate, just a little bit smaller, a little bit cuter, dare I say, a little bit cuter. Uh, the very elongated head portion of the Xenomorph, very nicely done in this slick, almost oil slick black, which really does a great job of hitting the light in certain ways. Uh, there's the mouth, complete with painted in teeth. The mouth is not movable. Initially feeling that the mouth was movable, it actually is not. And a smaller mouth, nowhere to be found on the, the Xenomorph uh, mini mate here. The head does rotate all the way around despite for the fact it's now got all this extra stuff. Now we were just talking about all that extra stuff. Yeah, back in the day, remember it was almost as if it was a minute ago we were talking about all this extra stuff that they can add on to a, Z to a mini mate. And here the proof is in the pudding. You can see how they've added all this extra stuff over top of the traditional square a bit torso base of the mini mate to now give all the details that you would expect to find with a xenomorph. These scaled ridges, these little tubings that would be per, uh, just jetting back, jetting out of the back of the xenomorph, and of course the notable tail. Now it does have posability in two different places, one there and certainly one there, so you can move those around depending on which way you want to angle it. But if we were to kind of take all of this apart, the arms are extra pieces because a hand would normally be right there. Now they've added the trademark kind of live long and prosper hands. I always joke when I, I giggle loudly when I say that. Uh, of course the torso piece has been added over top of that. If I was to take that all off you would basically just be again looking at a square xenomorph body. And I guess if you wanted to, let's see if we can look at that, extend out on that theory. There we go. Just to show you guys, I aim to please, there's the torso half right there, and that's what the xenomorph body looked like. Not quite fully finished, but it didn't have to necessarily be fully finished anyways because, well, I mean, the body's going to be going over top of it anyways. So we'll just pop that back into place. 
It's also got these new extensions of the feet down below. Normally the feet would just simply be straight. I mean, we're, we would be looking at it here on call, you would see that she would just have the straight legs and then the boots would be added over top of this. With the Xenomorph, it's a little bit different. They're instead bending the knee and then compensating for the fact that the feet angle forward, giving us what the trademark look would be for a Xenomorph warrior. I like this one. I really like this one quite a bit. I don't have a lot of Xenomorph mini mates, so I'm really thrilled now that Diamond Select are releasing these to stores. Now, posability on the Xenomorph would be exactly the same. You'd still have the ball joint. It would hinge up and down. You can technically really angle it back and forth as well. Arms hinge out. They rotate all the way around. A little harder to kind of get your hand in there. They hinge at the elbow. They rotate at the forearm. Right basically now where the hand is attaching, it rotates there. And despite for all this extra stuff that's on it, it still rotates at the waist it still manages to move its legs forward. You can bend at the knee, depending on, again, your which way you want to have it. And really, because, once again, these are superposable for their size, you could have the Xenomorph running. And even if it doesn't seem as if it's going to be able to balance itself, you still have the benefit of using the display stands, which I probably will end up having to use, just so I could get it in a running pose like that. And finally, it has a little swivel, basically where the boot is now, the lower boot foot portion is connected to the bottom of the leg. And there is the Xenomorph from Alien Resurrection. A nice little set. Doesn't have as many accessories as perhaps some of the other ones that we are going to be having a look at. Yes, we are going to be having a look at the rest of these. Doesn't have, unfortunately, any of the accessories that the other ones does do come with. But again, you got yourself a nice looking call and you got a really cool looking Resurrection Xenomorph. <laughs> and because they are superposable and you can make use of the display stands, you could actually put the mini mates from Alien Resurrection in more interesting poses than simply just having them standing straight up, which is what I've done here in Final Looks. I like to put a lot of my mini mates in poses because just having them standing straight, as exciting as that may sound, I'd like to always have them in a little bit more posing than anything else. Uh, both of these figures look really neat, and they are available directly through Toys R Us as Toys R Us exclusives. This may be a little bit more trickier for some people that don't actually have a brick-and-mortar Toys R Us in their local areas anymore, but I'm sure you could still order them online and have them delivered right to your door. Uh, today we were having a look, though, at the new Alien Resurrection, this was Annalie Call and Resurrection Xenomorph, Minimates. It's good to be doing Minimates again. If you guys like Minimates reviews, let me know down below if you'd like to see certainly more of these. And speaking of more of these, we're of course going to be having a look at the rest of the Alien lineup from the folks over at Diamond Select. Oh, 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 speaking of Diamond Select, if you want to swing on over, you know Diamond Select also has a YouTube page. It means that if you guys want to go over and check out some of the stuff that's coming out from that company before it hits store shelves, that's the best place to check it out head over to their YouTube page. It's simply just a case of looking up Diamond Select. Uh, certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys, and make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below and the bell notification to make sure that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do, and I'll see you next time.